Hello, so this application called multiple invoice payment will allow you to create payments for invoices and uh, bills directly from pay payments and it will also allow you to show which all particular payments are due, where you need to receive the money, where you need to send the money and even if you want to send uh, maybe half of the money, you can directly make the payment using the payments uh, option in the system. So let's see how that's possible. So if I go to accounting, uh, here you have invoices and here you have payments. So let me first create an invoice. So I will create an invoice. Maybe let's say I'm creating an invoice for browse info. I will add the products. I will also change the quantity just to increase the amount. So uh, let's say it's um, 13,322. I will save this and confirm this. So now I have an invoice which is not yet paid. Now I can pay this invoice directly from the payments. So if I go to payments, I will create a new payment over here and I will choose the customer. So that is browse info and I will save this. As soon as you select the customer here, you see all the payments that are due will be visible here in the invoice line. So we have two invoices over here from browse info. One is partially paid and one is not paid. So uh, you can either add the full amount if you have the full amount that is need to that needs to be paid, or you can just select one invoice. Let's say this is the invoice that we just created. So I will select this invoice, and let's say this time uh, the customer is only paying uh, uh, half of this amount. So let's say I'm adding six thousand, and I will save this. So as soon as I add the amount and confirm this, here you can see the amount due will change status will also change now it is partially paid now we also have the invoice status over here so if i go to the invoice the status here as as will changed uh, here you can see the uh, paid amount and the due amount now if i go to the journal entries from here uh, here you can see the journal entry of 6000 has been created as well so again you can create a new payment for browse info and as soon as you create the payment you'll get the invoice line you can select the invoice at the amount and uh, confirm this and the payments will be created the same thing goes for vendors as well so uh, let's create a bill uh, again let's say i'm creating a vendor bill for browse info itself i'm adding a few products here and i will also change the quantity and add the prices so let's say it's five of these and eight of these so here you can see i have a bill of 15000 uh, triple uh, triple one i will save this and confirm this sorry need to add the date okay i will confirm this so now i need to pay this bill so what i'll do is i'll go to payments and i will create a new payment where i'm sending the money to browse info so as soon as i add the customer uh, sorry the vendor's name you can see all the due payments uh, bill numbers will be visible over here this is the one that has been partially paid this is the one that we just created which is not yet paid so i will remove this as of now and we just have this particular bill to pay now out of 15,000, I'm only paying 5,000, let's say. Add the amount, save this and confirm this. As soon as I confirm, you can see the change in the status. The due amount has been changed as well. Now if I go to the bill here, you can see the partial status has changed as well. The amount has been paid 5,000 and 10,000 is the due amount. If I go to the journal entry, I'll be able to see the journal entry of that particular amount as well. So uh, it's very simple and straightforward. You can create payments directly for customers and vendors from payments and you can uh, add amounts if uh, you can add partial amounts or full amounts uh, and select the invoices or the bills for whom you want to get uh, the amount, receive the amount or send the amount. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment section below and we will get back to you with an answer. Also, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Until then, thank you.